Hello everyone, welcome to the Artsy Partsy YouTube channel. Um, my name is Miss Emily. Today I'm going to teach you how to draw a cute little teddy bear. So let's get started with that. Alrighty, so we are going to start off by drawing a nice big circle. And I like to draw a bunch of circles at once. So you don't have to worry about getting it perfect the first time because within all these lines, there's a nice circle. So now we're gonna draw a big oval. And do the same thing so that we have a nice oval with all these lines that I just drew. And now we're gonna draw two more circles, two little ones right here to make the teddy bear's ears. Once again, I'm doing a bunch of circles at once, so I get one nice circle in there. But your circles don't have to be perfect. Perfection's overrated. We're gonna add two little circles into these circles. And a circle, not a circle, an oval. In the big oval. Now, we're gonna draw a little jelly bean shape. You know what a jelly bean is. We're not gonna worry about getting it all right in the first try. We're gonna be very sketchy and go over it with several lines. See what I'm doing here? So we got the chubby teddy bear's chubby little face right there. And now, a circle right in the middle here. So we got his little snout. So now, we're gonna add two pretty big circles for his feet, right down here. Right there. So, now we're gonna give him some little arms, some cute little chubby arms. We're gonna add this little teardrop-like shape, just like that. We're gonna do it on both sides. Once again, don't worry about making it all one line because that just gets stressful and it takes all the fun out of it because you get discouraged because it doesn't work out the first time, which is why I love using all these little sketchy lines and then fixing it later. So now, just so we don't get distracted by the lines in the arms. I'm just gonna erase them. So now, I mean it kinda looks like a teddy bear, but it could look a little more like a teddy bear. So we're gonna add some little paw prints on his feet. So we're gonna add two small circles, and then in each paw, we're gonna add three smaller circles like this. One, two, three, to make little paws for it. And then on the cheeks right here, we're gonna add two more circles to give them little blush patches. And then right here, we're gonna add a triangle right at the top with a little bit of a rounded edge, you know? make the little nose and then we're gonna draw a line straight down from the tip of that triangle and then swoop it around just like this to make his little mouth and add the little chin like that and if you want to add a little tongue right there and now what's he missing He's missing eyes. We need to give him some beautiful, adorable little eyes. So we're just gonna do two ovals. I like to fill him in so he doesn't look too creepy. Same with the nose. And then we don't need these full circles so we can erase those where the head is. Now, 
What I like to do is, since we used all these lines when we were making the shapes so we wouldn't get all frustrated and discouraged, you know, I look at the lines and I darken my favorite ones, like this. See, this is a nice line right here. Make it a little bit darker so that's easier to find when we put the marker over top of it. See? And don't worry about making anything perfect because you don't have to be perfect. What's the fun in that? I am going to finish this off camera and then I will be back. So right now I'm adding a little stitch marks which is just a bunch of little dashes you know so instead of looking like just a regular bear he looks more like a teddy bear like he was sewn together and I'm gonna give him little freckles and add some stitch marks like the little shapes were stitched on like they're little patches it makes him look more teddy bear like and you're just gonna draw some random lines it doesn't matter what they look like where they're placed just place them anywhere you want anywhere you think looks good anywhere that you like see you don't have to add them to the feet especially these small ones because that gets kind of crowded but if you want to add them to the feet then that's awesome you do whatever you think looks nice and why not give him some little eyebrows? With that, I'm just gonna draw a couple little curvy shapes above his eyes. And if you want to, right now, is a very good time to add your own little personal touches. I drew a couple for this video. I drew this little pirate teddy, a little princess teddy, which is what I'm gonna be drawing right now, and a little teddy with a hat and a bow tie. How cute. So right now, since you're in the sketch portion, you can add whatever little details you want. Whatever the heck, go crazy. It's all about, you know, having fun, not just worrying about making exactly like mine or whatever. You can, you can give him a big old mustache. It doesn't matter, whatever you think is awesome, you draw it. But if you want to stick to mine, that's okay as well. You don't have to draw on your own special thing. But if you want to, that is so cool. And that means you are being creative and you're working your creative side of your brain. And I love that. So right now, I'm just going to add a little crown. I'm going to add a little triangle. Not a full triangle. And then another one. And then a big one at the top. And just do that on the other side. If it doesn't look even, see, mine's not even even, then that's okay. You know, like I said earlier, perfection is overrated. I'm gonna draw a couple eyelashes to make her look more princessy. I've been calling it a he this whole time, but now because <laughs> we gave it eyelashes, that's a girl. All right, so now that I've got all my lines darkened and I've added the little details here and there, I am going to take a very special pen. You can use a Sharpie, you can use a Crayola marker, you can use a gel pen, except with gel pens, you have to wait a little bit for them to dry, otherwise it'll smudge a little bit and that usually is not so cool. You can use whatever, as long as it doesn't erase you can you can use it you know you don't have to use this fancy pen from mr josh's classroom <laughs> um you can use whatever as long as it doesn't erase otherwise you might have a couple of issues you know so i'm gonna go in and i'm just gonna trace around all of my favorite lines so that they stay there nice and permanent and then i'm gonna come back okay so I've just finished up adding the line. So now, there's all these pencil lines. 
in here. And we're just gonna go over top. I'm gonna take an eraser. You can just use the one on your pencil. So I'm just gonna erase. So, this is my final teddy bear. You can add color in it, and I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm not gonna do it on camera bear. If you wanna just leave it white, that is awesome. You can do whatever you want. So, I'm gonna go and color mine off camera, and then I'm gonna come back with my finished product. Yay! So that's that. Um, <laughs> apologies for any like little cuts. You'll probably notice my hands move or something in the frame moves just really abruptly because I tend to be a bit scatterbrained and I tend to ramble on kind of like I'm doing now so that is it for this video other than the outro which I am going to now skip to I kind of made a very big mistake and deleted my outro which took me a while to get right so I'm just gonna have to say it here, um, thank you so much for watching, um, I had a lot of fun and I hope you had a lot of fun, um, if you could like and subscribe that would be awesome and I would really appreciate that, um, if you're really interested in art and you like being creative, um, you should check out the Artsy Partsy website, especially if you live near Pasadena, Maryland because we have lots of really fun and affordable classes that I think you would be really interested in. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope you check that out. See you next time. Bye.